Hey guys, Simon Bryson here, and if I'm being honest, I've been scammed before, and I've said it a few times on this channel already, you know, but my scam was like old fashioned, you know? I tried to sell a PS4, right? A game, a game console, and I got paid fake money, which by the way, was not fun, but it was like personal. You know, the guy had to look me in the face, not show any remorse, I was like, hey, here's the fake money for your console that you basically need that money to go to college for. No remorse, no mercy, the scammer was basically heartless. However though, today's scammers are a lot more different. It's not like in person, it's not really fake money that often, but today it's more like, hey, it's on the internet, it's on ads, it's through text, it's on social media, it's literally everywhere. You can get scammed basically at any moment throughout the day. So every now and then I make these videos on the latest scams to make sure that you don't get scammed because I got scammed once, didn't happen again, but I want to make sure if I can help you avoid that, I'm going to do my best to make it happen. And by the way, you know, I spoke to my girlfriend around three days ago and I'm like, hey, she's like, hey, let me just skip that part. And she's like, hey, Tommy, guess what? My mom got scammed. And I'm like, what happened? Well, she's been looking for an apartment and let's just say she just lost like two, three hundred dollars just like that. And don't worry, in this video, I'm going to tell you about that story. So stick around, OK? But in this video, I'm going to give you seven scams that are brand new in 2021 that you basically want to look out for. And by the way, scammers are not really making new things. It's just finding new creative ways to use what's actually current to redo the same scams. You know, a scam at the end of the day is tricking you to give up your money. That's really all they want to do honestly so make sure stick around to the other video find out all these scams and do me a favor avoid them please okay please avoid all of them all right and by the way if you're new here subscribe to the bell subscribe to the channel and on top of that also destroy the like button i appreciate it a ton and this way youtube can share this video to even more and more people so do me a favor and smash the like button now the very first scam, guys, is the apartment scam or the landlord scam. And by the way, yes, this is a scam my girlfriend's mom actually went through to actually get finessed. So what happened here? Well, as you know, when you get in an apartment, it is stressful because you're looking back and forth. You get one, but then it's like, hey, we don't really want you. Or you apply for another one. It's like, hey, already taken. It's so stressful. So at some point, you get irritated. You kind of get a little like um, obsessed and stressed. So what happened is scammers what they do is they list also fake listings okay and my girlfriend's mom fell for one of those fake listings now what did the scammer say hey this is the house you see the pictures you don't have to come and see it red flag by the way all you have to do is just send me like a little deposit and i'll basically send you the key and we're good to go and she fell for that so she sent him around $300 with quick pay or the cash up. I forget. And guess what? She can't get her money back. And guess what? The guy is still calling, asking for more money. That's what they basically do. Now, obviously, red flag emoji right here and here. Okay. But overall, guys, what was the red flag? First of all, you're paying for something without seeing it. You have no lease and you have no record and no way to actually get your money back. So again, you want to avoid this, you know? And by the way, you might say, Tommy, that was stupid of her, but I almost fell for this also. When I came to Puerto Rico, I was finding apartments left and right. They were all basically taken. And at some point I found this lady, I sent her all my information without basically seeing the apartment. I was like, hey, what if this lady basically steals my social security card, steals everything? Like, what am I gonna do? You know what I mean? So I almost got caught and you might get caught too. But just remember, don't sign up for anything. Don't send any money unless you go, you see the apartment, you sign a lease, you get confirmation, and that way you're fully covered and you actually have physical evidence, okay? That's what you wanna do. So yeah, avoid this scam and always triple check the listings and everything like that, okay guys? And by the way, it's not a scam if you find a listing maybe like two, three times on different people because sometimes, guess what? It's just different companies that have like the listing to help the landlord basically get it. It's about doing your diligence and basically not being impatient, okay? Don't be impatient. Now, number two, second scam here, it's called the ads scam. Yeah, like the ads that you basically get on YouTube while watching this video. Maybe I'll plug one in right here. But overall, ad scam, how does it work? Well, 
It's like massive discount ads. Also massive courses or programs with people you basically know. Clothing, going for a massive discount. Um, Luxury clothing, electronics going for a massive discount, okay? Now what these scammers do is they go on Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, basically anywhere, and they post these basically crazy ads about, hey, you can get um this Gucci shirt for $20 or this Tommy Hilfiger shirt for $10. Now, if you know about clothing, you know they don't go for that, okay? They go for a lot more. Now, here are some example pictures right here. So, Facebook, Instagram, all that stuff. And the thing is, when you go to that website, you click, you click buy a few items, you order, you put your information in, credit card information in. Potentially, few things can actually happen here, okay? By the way, red flag, what is it? Red flag emoji right here. Red flag is too good to be true, obviously. The website looks sketchy and there are no reviews on it, okay? You wanna look for reviews and make sure other people have actually shopped there too, okay? Just look for reviews on the internet. Now, when you go there and you buy, few things can happen. They can steal your credit card information or they can just steal your money and send you, for example, like some toilet paper or whatever they wanna send you or like a very bad quality item, okay? So again, you want to avoid this. If it sounds too good to be true, it probably is. I'm just being honest. I haven't been caught by this, but I do see my mom was almost caught by this, okay? And by the way, even like the website Wish, allegedly, I don't wanna get sued, sometimes has crazy items listed for a very big discount, and then what you receive is not what you thought that you actually ordered. So again, be very careful. Too good to be true, it probably is. Now, number three is the paycheck scam. And my girlfriend almost fell for this, okay? By the way, Tommy, it seems like everyone in your family is getting scammed. No, no, okay? I got scammed, girlfriend, mom got scammed, but my mom hasn't been scammed, my girlfriend hasn't been scammed, so it's just me and 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 my mother-in-law that are basically pretty stupid, okay? That's basically it. But here's the idea, okay? The paycheck scam. My girlfriend at some point was looking for a job. So she went obviously on every single job website out there to apply for different jobs here and there. She got a call back from one company and they're like, hey, we wanna hire you. Um, however though, we pay one paycheck ahead of time as a deposit to show our commitment. She was like, yeah, mm -hmm, tell me more. And they said, well, we're gonna send you a check. You know, So when they sent her this check, the check was actually for not one week payment, but actually two week payment or one full month payment. And they said, well, it's fine. Don't worry about it. Just um, send us the difference, okay? Just send us the difference. So basically that means, hey, you have to deposit this check into your bank account, take the money out and send it to them. What happens there is when you deposit a fraudulent check into your account, the bank is going to give you the courtesy to assume that it's legit, put the money in your account available, when you take it out, send it to them. Once the bank figures out the fake, the check, is, the check is fake, they're going to request all their money back, your account is going to go in negative, but by that point, you have no job, and they already have the money, and you can't get it back. That is what happens. So if it sounds too good to be true, again, avoid it. Red flag, what were they? Hey, we're gonna pay you, before you do a job. Hey, we sent you extra money. <laughs> when have you ever heard about a company getting confused and giving you extra money? Like the odds are not in your favor. Let's just be honest, okay? That is the paycheck scam. Now, scam number four, the money flipping scam, okay? Now this scam has been going on for a very long time. When I was in high school, middle school, probably since the start of time. Now it involves me basically, <laughs> okay, this is kind of crazy, turning a dollar into $10 because hey, guess what? I know somebody in the bank that works there and is able to add an extra zero to whatever money you basically send me through the cash app or through QuickPay or through Venmo. That is a scam, meaning hey, I'm going to double your money or I'm gonna add extra zero to basically give you that money, okay? Now, these scammers are not dumb. They know you probably think it's not legit. So they usually start with a small amount of money, meaning, hey, you send them a dollar, they send you $2, okay? And you're like, wow, this must be fully on legit. By the way, yeah, this is $2, pretty cool, huh? I have it in my collection. I love collecting old money. 
but I only have two. I'm not paying extra for money. Um, that's only worth two dollars, okay? Just be honest, okay? So once they get you with the first initial scam, you're like, hey, this is legit. So I'm gonna send them 20. And then they will they go ahead and send you, for example, maybe like 50 bucks. And then you say, hey, I'm gonna send you 10,000. And they're like, all right, that's it. I'm out. I got your money. And that is the end of it, okay? So sending some money money to basically get extra money is a massive red flag. Red flag. You're promising me to add an extra zero and dull my money, no matter how much it is, because you know somebody in the bank. But you're doing this, and by the way, if you guys ever found this out, basically, if you double a penny for 30 days, it turns into around $5 million, okay? That's how crazy it basically is. So you're telling me you're able to double money, but you're not a billionaire yet, okay? Just makes no sense. Red flag, red flag, red flag, avoid it. Okay, now scam number five, guys, is the credit scam. And this is very unethical, and I've done this in the past, honestly, and I'll tell you why, don't worry, don't call the cops just yet, it happens to the best of us, but then later on, you figure out what the heck actually happened. Now, a credit scam usually happens with electronics, products, and sometimes gift cards. Now, what happens is, you have one party telling you, hey, I'm gonna sell you, for example, an iPhone 12, iPhone 13, iPhone 14, I don't care. But you know the retail is like over $1,000. But they say, hey, I'm gonna sell it to you for $700 or $500. Same thing with a TV, a computer, an iPad, a monitor, doesn't matter. They sell very expensive things for a massive discount. Now, you know for a fact these things are real because they are real. And they also sell you, for example, gift cards for like half the price, okay? so. A $100 Amazon gift card sells you for $50. And you're like, well, this is an amazing deal. I'm gonna go ahead and buy a few of these things, okay? I've done that in the past. That was a scam right there. Now, am I gonna scam? No. Am I participating in a scam? Yes, I am. Now, here's what's going on here. This person, what they do is, they go on the dark web or they steal people's credit card information by having, for example, like websites that collect all this information kind of complicated, but pretty simple stuff. Basically, they steal your information, okay? Not yours, other people's out there. And they go ahead and use their credit card information to order all these products to a safe location, aka not their house, and they basically order all these things, go to location, collect it, and then grab these products, sell them for a discount to get the cash, obviously, because they just want cash, and then they use that cash put it into a cash-only business, and then launder the money so that way it's legit. That's what they do. Now, crazy example here, I have a friend, or I should say I had a friend because I don't want to get anybody messed up. I had a friend, okay? This, this, uh, actually, this example isn't even real, okay? But let's just say I have a friend, and this friend wanted to buy, for example, an AC unit for his entire business, okay? Those things cost like, $10,000, okay? That's how much it was actually gonna cost him, like $10,000. And he had a friend, so my friend had a friend that told him, hey, I can actually get you that thing for like half the price. And he says, okay, let's do it. So when my friend asks his friend to order that item, he orders the item, he gets the air thing sent to his business, and then the company calls my friend saying, hey, we know you used fake information, stolen credit information, we are gonna contact the FBI right now if you don't pay us our money. My friend has to pay the full amount because obviously he doesn't wanna go to jail. That's the scam, guys, okay? If it sounds too good to be true, just don't do it, okay? It's one of those things that you can actually get away with doing because you're not like really doing the thing, but you're actually participating in it. So just don't do it, that's my rule. And by the way, usually when you buy those iPhones and iPads, a lot of the times, basically get blocked out by the carrier, and then you still can't use them anyway. So I'm like, I'm not interested. I'm not interested. I'm not interested. Okay. Red flag. Red flag. Red flag. Avoid it. Now, scam number six, guys, is the Amazon review scam. Okay. Hey, if you review my Amazon product, I'm gonna send you money, whether it's a gift card or PayPal. By the way, usually you want a gift card, you don't want to get paid through PayPal. I'll tell you why in a second. Now, why would somebody do this, okay? Why would they want you to, by the way, the way it works is, this person tells you, hey, 
buy my Amazon product. Once you receive it, okay, write a review on it and I will send you the money back and give you a full refund. So I get to have this product for free. That's what's actually going on there. You're like, how is this a scam? Well, because basically what this person wants is to get pushed up in the whole Amazon algorithm. So the more reviews, the more you show up on the first page, the first searches, and that we can basically get more sales and more sales. How, now, how is this a scam though? Okay, I, I still don't get it. Because what they do more than often is when you receive the product, right? And you write the review, usually positive, obviously, then they pay you on PayPal. After like 15 days, they tell PayPal that you didn't provide the service and then they ask PayPal for the money back. And you're stuck with a product that you basically didn't want in the first place, okay? That's the problem with this entire thing. And on top of that, you're kind of giving reviews for products that you might not even want to buy or think are actually good. So you're kind of adding to tricking somebody and kind of messing them up mentally, okay? That's, that's the whole idea. So my advice is just probably don't waste your time on it. I did it with like you guys, like I think back in like 2019, where we actually found a website that was actually like more legit. And we got a lot of products and also some money and gift cards. And I basically give it all the way to you guys. And it was fine. But then I found out that it potentially could do that. And I was like, all right guys, so let's stop it right there. Because if they do decide to be like less legitimate, then we are going to get burned. So we basically stopped it right there, okay? I learned my lesson and I was like, all right, this is not gonna go well. Now that's number six guys, okay? However, number seven is a combination between a lot of annoying little scams that you might fall for. So, okay, so number seven is basically like five to 10 other scams you basically want to avoid. So listen up here because I won't go into detail, but just listen up so that way you kind of always remember. So you're always looking out for these things here and there, okay? So here's one, the fake car warranty. When you get these calls, I never fell for it because basically I didn't have a car, but now I got a car and I'm like, does my car have a warranty? So usually avoid those things because usually it is a scam. Also car insurance, probably a scam also. If you have car insurance, call them directly and find out what's going on. Do not believe any random person, especially when they have a weird accent. On top of that, well, I shouldn't say that because then you're profiling, so that's not a good idea. Just call the official number and find out if it's legit or not legit, okay? That's the idea. Then you also have, Taxes. Hey, you owe taxes. We're going to call the FBI. If you don't pay back, blah, 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 blah. Okay. Don't pay anybody. Contact the IRS directly. Okay. And then you can basically go ahead and pay the IRS directly. Okay. The IRS is not usually going to contact you and tell you pay me money right now through a gift card. They're not going to do that. So usually these are basically massive scams. On top of that, you have the puppy scam. Yeah. Weird. I know. But if you're looking for a puppy or a cat, these people will take this massive deposit until the litter is born and you will never hear from them again. So you want to avoid this, okay? Unless the kettle is basically very well known and you know people that actually bought from there, then that's fine. But, you know, I, I, I rather, I have two cats, by the way, just adopt. I got them for free. They're chilling in the, in the, in the living room. It's for free. Rescue them and they're fine. And by the way, yes, I got kittens. Okay. So they were like four weeks old. If you want a puppy, you can also adopt a puppy. Okay. It doesn't have to be like a grown adult, like animal, just adopt a puppy and you'll be fine. Also, you also have the YouTube comment scams where they also show, for example, Hey, follow me on IG, get this WhatsApp, send me Bitcoin, all this stuff. Usually those are scams. And by the way, look out because on my channel, People get channels like with my profile picture and my name, which by the way, YouTube needs to put a stop to this. And they basically comment also saying, hey, hey, thanks for watching the video. Like DM me on WhatsApp or on Instagram, whatever it is. And they contact you, ask your money in Bitcoin and they disappear. And you think it's me, but it's not me. I will never ask you for money. All right, never. I'm not gonna give you my phone number through comments. It's just very stupid. It's not possible. But if you do want my number, my real number, you can just contact me on Patreon, join there, and there is a number I basically use, okay? So secondary number, so that way I'm safe, so don't worry. It's not like a official number. It's just like a secondary number. I can contact you guys through there, okay? Through Patreon. That's the only official way to get my number. On top of that, you also have the influencers and Bitcoin when you get DMs on Instagram because basically they go to our Instagrams, see our followers, DM all of them through an automation program and hope anybody like kind of falls for it. Avoid those things. Again, I'm not going to contact you 
and ask you for money. So yeah, that's a scam. And then you also have, for example, the text scams where you actually get like this random text out of nowhere with a link attached to it. Like, hey, your iCloud has been hacked. Hey, we have an Amazon package for you. Hey, we have this from Amazon or this from another website or FedEx or whatever it is, okay? And you click the link and they're like, hey, sign in. What do they do? They scrape your information and they kind of like log in with your information and they use their credit card information to basically buy whatever they want to buy. And again, you know, Amazon has like a secondary service to basically add like a security. So whenever you do sign in, you need your phone number. So that helps you a lot more. But just don't click links you don't recognize. And if you didn't order something, don't think you're gonna get away with like, hey, I'm getting something for free. No, you're, you're probably not, okay? You're probably not. So avoid this. And the last one is the COVID and grants, okay? So they might tell you, hey, we have a relief program for um, COVID, or we have this um, grant we're gonna give you because you're so pretty, or whatever. Usually, this is a scam. Overall, guys, honestly, if it sounds too good to be true, more than often, it's a massive red flag and you want to avoid it, okay? That's the answer. And by the way, I have a sponsor for this video, not a sponsor really, but it is a way I protect myself whenever I'm buying things online and I don't trust the website, so, the app I use is also a website thing. It's called Privacy. Now, if you go on the App Store or the Play Store, you can find the Privacy app. And what they do is basically, they grab like your debit card information and they allow you to get a virtual debit card, okay? And you can actually attach, for example, a limit to that debit card. So for example, okay, I bought a game for $20 and it usually goes for $80. And I was like, I don't really trust this website. So I use privacy to basically open up a virtual debit card with a limit of $25. And I use that debit card to basically buy the game in case it was a scam. For example, they couldn't charge me more than I basically allow the limit to basically be. I use it to basically shop at very sketchy websites. So that's what I do with that. And it based, by the way, I, it wasn't a scam. It was like the real game, which is pretty cool. So I'm happy about that. But yeah, pretty solid stuff. Okay, so privacy, recommend it. When you sign up, you get five bucks. I also get $5, full transparency here. And I'll see you guys tomorrow though. Thanks for watching. Like this video if you learned something. Comment down below what you learned. On top of that, also if you wanna DM me, DM me on Instagram, type Bryson. Or if you wanna call me, I have a link down below. You can actually call me one-on-one -on -one and talk to me for 15 to 30 minutes or so. On top of that, here is more content and here are my other channels. Subscribe right here and welcome to the long-term team. Peace out.